Hey guys, Shadefire here with episode 8 of Let's Play Dead Space. We're still on the bridge and we're still looking for junction boxes. So as I mentioned earlier in this level we've got a really annoying segment coming up as soon as we get this last box online. Still got our contact beam. And how much ammo do we have for contact? Well, it looks like we have no extra ammo for the contact beam. Make us whole again. Jeez, what is with everyone being not whole? This is Temple. The bridge is fucked. I don't know what went on in there, but I'm not sticking around in case whatever did it comes back. I'm heading for hydroponics to find Elizabeth. Once again, we are following in Temple's footsteps still. As he somehow managed to be alive long enough to make it through engineering to the bridge. And then on to hydroponics. We won't be seeing hydroponics for a little while. So I'm just going to use that stasis pack. Because we're running low on OGs. Hey, big buddy. Oh, that actually killed him. And I didn't even pop his big fat belly full of necromorphs. And stay down. Okay. Asteroid defense system now online. Alright, we've got enough power, but the ADS cannon's auto targeting is down. I think it's a faulty data cable. I need you to aim the cannon manually until I can replace it. Take the elevator to the top of the ship and head for the cannon pit. And here's the segment I was talking about. We have to manually defend the ship from asteroids. Actually, finding quite a bit of contact energy. Ripper laser useless because the Ripper is useless. It's not true. It wouldn't be terrible if we upgraded it, but it really feels like a waste of upgrade nodes. Hmm. Ship exterior access. Why do we ever want to go there? Because the ship is poorly designed, that's why. remember which one of these is which button. They're kind of laid out weird. I wonder if something's... Isaac, you're going to have to cross the ship exterior to reach the ADS cannon. Problem is, we're still getting bombarded by asteroids. Look for cover, or you get torn to pieces. I was about to say, I wonder if something spooky is going to happen, but... That music just kind of queued up for no reason. So now we have to run across the ship as it's held with the while running out of oxygen. Entering zero gravity. Essentially, we just have to run up Warning. here. Multiple impacts so this happens across the starboard hull. Because apparently this is what meteors hitting the ship looks like. And just sprint from each of these. We've got two oxygen tanks though, so I'm not really worried about running out of air. Oh, jeez. There's a lurker here. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. Don't have time to play. Oh, Isaac, shut up. You're only at half air. Oh, oh, jeez. Am I gonna make it? Yes. Oh, fine. There. Calm down. Basically, if you're caught out in the open, you're just killed instantly. 
It's another one of them insta-death environmental hazards that this game is so full of. Second there, I thought I was just about to run out of air, but... circuit board. Semiconductor. Alright, so here it is. The dreaded asteroid section. This probably won't go too poorly, because, once again, we're on normal. But essentially... That's it, Isaac. You're in the pit. The cannon's a mass driver, so it should punch through anything flying at us. Keep an eye on the hull's integrity. Too many of those things get by, and we're dead. I think I've almost got the system repaired. Just buy me a little more time. Uh, higher difficulties, those rocks do a lot of damage to the hull. Like most things in video games that you remember being really bad, it's always not as bad when you have to redo it. So now we don't have to worry about the asteroids because of the ADS cannon, so we can just kind of sprint across here. Honestly, there's a couple leapers here, but they're not a big enough threat to stop and waste oxygen on. Just kind of hit them and pass by. But yeah, I remember that segment being a lot worse. And a lot of people complained about it when this game came out as being really difficult. Obviously, a lot easier with the mouse and keyboard than it was with the controller. Gotta head back to Hammond. Wait! Isaac Hammond, you're not gonna believe this. Oxygen levels are falling. Something's poisoning hydroponics air production, and whatever it is, it's filling the deck up with that organic stuff. We're not gonna have any air to breathe soon. But if I understand these lab reports correctly, I think I can make a poison to destroy it. Head to medical. It should have everything you need. Will this never end? Isaac. Get to medical and mix together whatever Kendra's come up with. I'm heading to hydroponics. If I can slow it down, that might keep us breathing long enough to fight it. 
how exactly does Hammond plan to slow down poison by breathing in enough of it that the rest of us won't have to? Like, poor planning on his part. Oh, that's that. Oh, there's actually a sort of another sort of new enemy coming up in this next room. Um, I won't really talk about it too much until we see its full form. But these little guys here are called components. Ah! There's a hand chasing me. Out of here, freaking head octopus stuck to my foot. So the next chapter, chapter five, is really when the story starts to pick up a bit more. It's less Isaac wandering around fixing stuff and more other stuff going on. Uh, suffice to say that Isaac, Kendra, and Hammond aren't the only people still alive on this ship. Oh, Hammond doesn't even want to talk to me, he's just sending me straight off. I didn't even mention it when we picked it up, but we got the force gun schematic, which is the other really good weapon I was talking about. Of course, we can't afford it, but we did pick up that semiconductor. We can actually sell this too because we're not going to need it for a while. Alright, so if we want to buy it, we're going to have to toss, toss something. And I think we all know which one I'm going to toss. Here it is. The force gun is, well, if the contact beam is sort of the sniper rifle rocket launcher, the force gun is basically the shotgun. Oh god, spit on me. So yeah, it's basically the shotgun equivalent. It shoots at a big wave of energy in a kind of cone pattern. Pretty much shreds any necromorph at close range. Now, I don't actually remember what the secondary fire is because I thought that the contact beam secondary fire was the secondary fire for this thing. So we're just gonna try it. I guess it just shoots a grenade. Bridge of the USGS Amura is a secured location. All personnel must post a security bias cam for entering. Please proceed to the right instructions. Thank you for your cooperation. Be a team player. Or Team Isaac. We don't need to worry about being a team player. Engineering like a boss. Alright, this is probably a pretty short video compared to the last one and the other ones. But I like to keep it divided up kind of two per episode, or two per chapter, so. We're going to cut it here. I'll see you guys next time in episode episode 9, where we go to medical again. But medical will be a little bit different than when we were there in chapter 2. 3. Alright guys, I've been Shadefire, and I hope you enjoy your time with me. Goodbye.